What is a tragedy pimp? A producer of content that focuses on and targets tragedies such as murders, suicides, stillborn death robberies, riots, shootings and fires that have befallen certain people or celebrities for the intent of gaining clout, sympathy or profit. These types of people tend to congregate on YouTube, Twitter, and other social media platforms. Example. That true crime woman only seems to create content to elicit sympathy donations from people. She's a tragedy pimp. August 16, 2021. Urban Dictionary. You know it's hard out here for a beer. I am running late. Sorry, guys. What time is it? Okay, I'm only 15 minutes late. <laughs> okay, I, I promise I'm taking a couple days off after today. So I have been up all night just looking into stuff. Um, But after this live, I'm going to go to sleep. And I am going to take like two... Wait, today's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Like two days off. Unless if the update comes out Monday. But if not, I'm taking a couple days off. But, okay, so what I was doing is... 17 year old to 20 years old. Wait, what was I'm confused what the Snapchat was though. They sent the Snapchat Snapchat to me saying that Kylie was dead before she got to that party. And that what? one of Yes, yes, said that one of the boys were messing around with the girl and um they were leaning up against the car um she supposedly talked to the cop now i don't have proof on any of this this is her versus not like i, I don't know, know how do asking. i wear this do you, and the people knew they're not gonna have any idea what we're asking once i take this picture down do you think this image image is accurate? And then the people that are in here will know what I'm talking about. I just, I just, I know I'm going to rest a couple days after today. I didn't sleep last night. Okay. Thanks, Red. I'll get it in one in a few. Yeah. One looks like Mags or it could be that other Steve. I think the other guy's name is Steve. And then here's that one that is from that other party at the house. All right, let me check my email and see if there's any new one. So let me share my screen. 
So he verifies that he was at the party. Hopefully he's still up. Yeah, here we go. Okay. So let's see if he still has the replies. If we there unless wait a minute. He he deleted the replies. Many comments. Like, why is this relevant? Why is this relevant? It's like, well, if you've been following all the specifics, it could be relevant. Um, one second, where is it? So just on this and send it to me. I'll go to the original. I'll go to his TikTok because I know where it's from. So remember we were saying like we saw those scratches on her car, which I did want to point that out. Remember on the um on the news clips it said that the, there were scratches on Kylie's car. So the first the some clips just said scratches on her car, but then one actually said on the front. So the back could be fresh scratches. So look, and somebody found this, and this would be after the party, after Kylie went missing. Because remember somebody brought it up like what if somebody used their car to push her car in? And I said, well, we need to check other cars to see if there's paint on other cars. You know, it might leave some paint because if it scratched Kylie's car, then there could be paint on the car that was used to push it in if there was a car that used to push it in. Well, look. And on the on, um, zip tied it up here. And then look. And this is the guy that was at the party. Here, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, shoot, am I going to remember his TikTok? It's been a while since I looked it up. Wow. Okay, guys, I want to talk through some things now involving the TikTok guy. So, this says, I watched Zav Girl's new live. What stood out to me most is this kid who admits he was at Prosser posting TikTok. So, someone pointed out his truck before it did not have silver paint in the front and now it does along with the crumpled license plates that's been moved and zip tied back on okay so you guys can see that and then we know he was at prosser because he said at the sanctuary the night kylie went missing and he said yeah and they started having this conversation about this guy and having this conversation about this guy and fairly or unfairly we it just is what happened and i i want to just take yeah, some probably. time and just share the conversation that took place on zav girls panel and then um i had a conversation with this young man and i deleted that it was at night or that it was at prosser oh is this me oh great i hope he's not talking about me look if you're here from youtube just know that the girl took my video and zoomed into my license plate for no reason not very cool if i did i probably should have blocked it out i didn't zoom in i was just zooming into the freaking silver suv i wouldn't even notice the license yeah plate. but i don't you know understand I mean? like somebody i don't understand I mean? like somebody would have to explain to me why it's important not to show license plates because you go to walmart and can get anybody's license yeah plate. no it's true and it's true and he's had and you can't even read it did he not is is you're right you could get anybody's license plate and if he has it this young man is very very nice you know, I'm going to show you guys the messages in just a second. It's very, uh, very nice. Honest. Part of the reason that we were having this discussion, this was an ongoing discussion that was literally basically from the day before or two days ago where we were noticing and how many people, and I could pull it up, but I don't want to have to get off of this video. It's just kind of hard to do all that. But that I, How many people, and I could pull it up, but I don't want to have to get off of this video. It's just kind of hard to do all that. But this video, it's just kind of hard to do all that that I have up now, but. On Kylie's bumper, there's there's two marks, and we're just saying like, if potentially bumper there's there's two marks, and we're just saying like, if potentially somebody pushed her in, there had to have been a truck, and then and then people start saying, well, it was this guy, this truck, all all that um, took place. Again, to reiterate, I don't think this young man had anything to do with it, but he did tell me I can play his TikTok on YouTube. It, he doesn't care. Again, to reiterate. Or did somebody push her in with a car? Where did the scratches come from? We need to look at the people uh, that was at the party and see if they have paint on their freaking bumper. And yeah. now this guy has paint on his bumper and his license plate is basically in a different spot. It is weird. It yeah. Yeah. 
Oh man, poor guy. So he's for your super chats. We're up to 71. Well, you, um, I was, I think I was going to say, oh, if I had the opportunity, um, I would probably be streaming every day. So maybe not as long as Zav can, but I would still stream every day if I was able to. Oh yeah. We do like six days a week here. So he reached out to me on Instagram. Um, he says, Hey, my name's such and such. I have the big white truck. That's been the center of discussion. I just wanted to reach out to offer answers to any questions you guys may have that will help you with the case. Thank you very much. Doesn't he sound like a nice guy? I don't What's up, man. Great. Thanks for reaching out. He says, as for why my license plate moved, I installed a light bar, which that's what you said yesterday. And the license plate covered the light. I zip tied it to my grill. The plate has always been damaged. That's why it looks crumpled. The scrape on my spray paint front bumper would be from driving into my mom's black forerunner, but I'm more than happy to answer anything you'd like. I can also get you photos and videos if you want evidence and whatnot. You want evidence and whatnot. So I'm like, that's really nice. I said, thanks for clarifying. Dude, that would be awesome. Any photos or videos that you have would be helpful. Yeah. What videos, photos do you want of the party, of my truck, of me installing the light bar? I can see what photos I have of the scratch on my bumper. And this was a clue piece for me to be like, yes, anything from the party that you could have would be great. A close-up of the light bar will be enough there and one of the scratch on the bumper. I, don't, I, I really don't feel like he had to prove any of this to me because I already believed him from the get-go, but sure, I'll send some your way. For the bumper, I've already spray painted it again. Luckily, I do take a lot of photos of my truck. <laughs> we already knew that one. So I'm sure I can find you some major photos. I said, thanks, man. I like your truck, by the way. So there's when he installed that light bar. He said, this is a photo from July. Oops, sorry. July 28th, the day after I installed the light bar. You can see that my bumper isn't painted where my plate was originally. You can also see some damage to the right side of my bumper, but to be honest, I'm not sure if it's the same damage in the video that she pointed out. So do you, oh, there's the damage. See the damage there? Damage you're saying was previously there? So he says that this picture is from August 5th. And I think he says that this picture is from August 5th. And I think you can actually see the date in the way that he sent the picture, the way he did the screenshot, but I, it's up at the top and I cut it off thing because it had his name on there. But so this is a picture from August 5th. If it was August 5th and that's all Zap needs to see to, you know, be able to just take that out for exactly. For his, yeah. Uh, August 17th. There's a, Oh, this is August super sticker guys. That's our super sticker train conductor. If anybody wants to hop aboard the super sticker train, we are going after a hundred. We're up to 67. We'd be glad to have you. I, I, All right. Oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> he does have a video August 6th and it's already moved. So he's probably telling the truth as he was all, as always. Yeah. yeah, I think he moved in on August 5th. Photos. And then um, there's damage already in that spot again on August 5th. So that rules out his car. August 5th. So then he said, I said, thanks, man, for sharing. He said, yep, just wanted to clear things up. You know, I appreciate all you guys doing, trying to help solve the case, but I don't need any conspiracy theories on my truck's TikTok page. Ha ha ha. Not the type of person I am. Thank not the type of person I am. Thank you. And let me know if there's anything I can help with. I just think he's like super kind. And I said, ha ha. Yeah, I didn't think you had anything to do with it either. Thanks for sharing. I said, I may have a couple more questions and reach out. And then he said, feel free to continue using my TikToks if you think they will help. Just was a bit weirded out when I first heard people uh, were taking my TikToks to YouTube. I said, thanks, man. Also, can you six, man? Also, can you send any pics of videos from the party? And he said, yeah, I'll see if I have any. Yeah, he's a really sweet kid. Um, when Zav started her life, he messaged me and he's like, my truck broke down. He's like, I'm not trying to get rid of it. And I was like, she knows, um, you know, she's talking about the comments and I, I sent them to her and he's like, I just thought it was funny. Because there could be something to that. Thank you guys for your super chats. We're up to 71. What were you? Which one year, guys? Wait, what was, I'm confused what the Snapchat was though. They sent the Snapchat. 
Snapchat, Snapchat to me saying that Kylie was dead before she got to that party. And that what? one of everyone's opinions. I have my own opinions. I have my own feelings, my own thoughts. You know what I'm saying? So if you come up on panel, you those are your thoughts, your feelings, and your opinions. They do not reflect on me. But back to this woman, anyhow. So I see that. So, so she's messaging me. Then I get this email. So we go back and forth. And he, she tells me about this video. Well, Zab girl comes in and she says, no, I didn't get any video. Now stop. So, like I said, Tyler knew what he was doing. He should have never put that in her chat. He could have went to Zab girl. He knows her email. He talks to her privately. He could have went to Zab girl and said that to her privately. But instead, he put the shit in her chat. And her chat went fucking wild. And now you have people assuming that there's a video of Kylie with five guys at 1.30 a.m. on 8.6 when that's not true. And that was never said. And there's no video of that. There's nothing like that. So I don't know why anybody would even put that out there or even so much as put that in the chat so people could misunderstand or put that out there as a mis, you know, uh, or as a rumor. It's crap. And I'm sick of it. She was being serious. I really don't know. She sounds like she's a really nice lady. She sounds like she's pretty genuine. But then again, I feel like that was a whole lot of drama and a whole shit show that didn't even need to be brought up or started because there's the video is nothing has nothing to do with Kylie. It doesn't pertain to Kylie. I don't feel Tyler should have ever went in there and said that shit because now look. It, it does the wild theories get started and it never it's not true. It's not true. There's no video. Of Kylie at whatever time in the morning on eight six at one fifty five she says or whatever the hell time of uh, with five guys that never happened. There's not a video like that. I don't know why Tyler put that in the chat. You guys will have to ask him. He'll have to answer that for himself. I don't know. There is a screenshot of him putting it in the chat that the, he has a video of Kylie or whatever. Uh, it's a screenshot that she had sent. She sent it to Laura. Laura put it up on her screen yesterday. I'm glad she kind of did because, like I said, had I not went over our stream, it was happening in the moment. So it's hard to see what's going on when it's happening in the moment. You know what I'm saying? Fueled by coffee, it's not drama, it's fact. You can't go on somebody else's live with complete fucking lies. So yes, I'm going to call it out because it wasn't said in email. This was said on a live that thousands of people are going to see it. And a lot of people may not get to the end of it. I would guarantee you there's probably videos about it already. There's probably videos, clip channels, that clipped that and said Kylie was alive at 1.30. Fucking guarantee it. They attacking the doctors. Probably videos, clip channels, that clipped that and said Kylie was alive at 1.30. Creator, quietly in chat, while doing this live stream, leading everybody down this path of, okay, so this belt looks like this, and talking about her hair length, and... Go, go ahead, just go watch the, the the tail end of the live from last night and you'll see. You'll see what I'm talking. Now, when someone says that, it sounds legit. When someone says that, go watch it. Well, you have all these people on panel that, why should they doubt it? Like, honestly, she's saying go watch it, so they just assumed that it was legit. I would assume it was legit. I mean, me personally, I would have taken five minutes and gone and looked right then and there, but that's just me. You know, stuff that does not matter. And there were literally people in the chat going, this doesn't matter anymore. We've gone over this five times. You know what I mean? Stuff that doesn't even matter. No, Elsa, thank you. Kylie is not in any video with five boys. I don't know where this came from or who it came from, but it did not happen at all. You know what's hard.